I'm here with uh, Roy Urvieta of Domain Nico. He is the winemaker. Domain Nico is one of Catena Zapata's Pinot Noir projects here in Gualtacheri in the Uco Valley region of Mendoza, Argentina. Uh, Roy, thank you so much. Oh, he's, thank uh, you. he's showing me a little bit around uh, the Le Paradis vineyard here at the high altitude region of Uco Valley. So uh, Roy, tell us a little bit of what's going on here. What are, well, what kind is, of soil types are This is Pinot Noir, Clan Dijon 667. Uh, it's just one, one hectare of Pinot Noir. And here we have all of this, the soil profile. And as you can see, we have a lot of rocks and carbon, uh, calcium carbonate in the, in the soil. And mm -hmm. this, this is so important for us because we are in Gualtayari and all of this soil is alluvial soil. Mm -hmm. Just is the, the rivers or las tunas in Gualtayari move along the thousands of years and deposit rocks. And in other places, maybe if you walk 20 meters, you have a deep soil that you don't have rocks. But in this parcel, we have this, this profile of soil with carbon calcium, carbonate in around the rocks. Mm -hmm. And that is so important for the plant because you have the different condition, the water condition, uh, different stress condition in the plant that concentrate the, the, the flavor, the tannin for, for May wine. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, it's just one hectare and combine this soil with a cold climate, mm -hmm. we obtain Le Paradis Pinot Noir. Okay, cool. And uh, with these types of soils, how is the wine being affected like that in terms of flavor? Uh, in case, we, we have a lot of study in, in Malbec, but mm -hmm. now we are working with the University of Burgundy to understand different parts of, of Mendoza. And mm -hmm. uh, the, the project is called Septentrion with Benjamin Boine in the University of Burgundy. Um, but in the case of Pinot Noir, like Malbec, uh, with, when we have the drip irrigation in, in this case of, of the water yeah. condition. The drip irrigation, right. Drip yes, irrigation. because in Mendoza it's like a desert. We have low precipitation in, along the year. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to use drip irrigation to maintain the plant. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you make the irrigation with the soil, with this kind of soil, the, the water drain very easy. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, compared with the deep soil that you have more humi you, hum ah, humidity sí. in, in the soil. Mm -hmm. um, now we are studying what happened with the microbiology in the soil. Um, the, the result that we have now that one, one of the, my partner maybe the next month publish the, the result in Malbec, but in the microbiology is so different the condition in the deep soil and mm -hmm. the stony soil like this yeah. profile. Mm -hmm. uh, that affect the plant more, more concentrate, more tiny, more aging potential. Yeah, that uh, that we have in here in La Paradis. And let's check out the plants here. We have the Pinot Noir. Just getting some. Yeah, this is the, the this is the classic uh, cluster of Pinot Noir. Uh, more. How do you say apretado in English? Of uh, tight, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can see the the the, the berries is uh, the, the the size of the berries more uh, mm -hmm. different than the another part of Mendoza. But this is the classic uh, gray, uh, cluster of Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And can you show us how to how do you try the grape? Ah. How, do you, how do you how do you choose the best grape? Well. Name? I don't know the other way maker of agronomist, but in my case, <laughs> when we uh, go to the vineyard, we taste the different part of the, of the cluster, but around the, in the middle of the, of, of, of the cluster, we take the samples and then we evaluate the, the, the sugar content and the acid uh, level of, of the grapes. Mm -hmm. Like you put in the mouth and mm. then, okay, taste or, or this is green or no green mm -hmm. they uh, you evaluate the acidity all of this with the the, the, the analytic on the, that you have in the lab mm -hmm. like pH total acidity and bricks but in in our case you are checking different part of the parcel yeah and then you can see the the seed mm -hmm. in this case a little brown and green mm -hmm. Um, 
it's not this is not ready maybe maybe we are we're gonna harvest in two weeks because two this weeks. has actually 21 bricks but then you can taste the the the, the skin in our case we how they say masticar in english chew chew chew, uh, chew the the skin and in my case i don't know the, the, maybe maybe this is disgusting but i chew the the, the skin and I see the the color that have the the, the the skin and you check the astringency that you have in the skin yeah um maybe sometimes you can feel some green or something like that in, in the mouth and then you say well maybe this is not ready you see the brick the ph okay i have to wait in in this case we had to wait two weeks around okay and uh one more thing uh the nets what are these uh nets for over well here? the net is for the hail which isn't a big problem here, yeah, though, like you said. We have some problem in some part of Mendoza uh, with the storm, and that is, that is why we use the, the high nets okay. for, uh, for why we have to carry the plants and the grapes. Exactly. <laughs> On to taste the wines. Thank you.